We're here at Murphy's Towing, Nash Work. We're gonna do a braided wire rope eye on Molly Hogan. I don't know if you all have seen my welding rig, but this is the 55 that we talk about. The one that's missing the front bumper because we hit a deer in Utah. Uh, we haven't built a bumper for it yet, but. So on our last video, we, uh, we had to braid some, hey. some wire rope in the field on the oxygen truck recovery. And a few people commented that they want to see um, a video on how to braid a wire rope eye in the field. We're actually back where our new building's gonna go. This is our new building right here, by the way. And where we're standing is where the new building's gonna be. It's a 20,000 square foot building. So let's get to it. Here in the recovery, I didn't have a cutoff wheel because usually where you break your wire rope, it's gonna be frayed, it's gonna be messed up. So if you take and cut it off straight and you have um, some, good, some good rope to work with. So uh, I'm gonna cut this off real quick. And in the field, we were using uh, 7 16 braided rope. Uh, today we're doing it with three quarter. And if you'll notice, it's cable core. Um, basically, there's a cable within, a, within the wire rope. Inside there, there's a wire rope within this wire rope. So, you got your three strands right here. One, two, three. Three strands, you're gonna separate you got your bottom three right here. We're gonna separate those. And right in the middle right there is another wire rope. And I like to keep them. I like to keep them together. How they come apart, so they go back together. Really, you know, they lay in there really nice. And the three quarter is harder to braid because it's a lot bigger. But it's easier. It'll be easier for you guys to see what I'm doing with a bigger wire rope. You want to unravel it all the way back. You want to give yourself plenty of room to put an eye in it and still have a tail on there. I split it up about four feet. I like to give myself a little extra. So, we got these three st strands pulled apart. Now we're gonna pull the core out of it. That's the wire wire rope core right there. And we're gonna pull the core out of the, these three. And now, because it's got the wire rope core in it, now we have to we have to braid this one first. On a normal wire rope with no core, it's a lot easier. You don't have to actually braid this one. So, and just like the other one. We'll pull three strands off of there. We're gonna pull three there and leave four over here. And you'll separate that all the way up to 
where you separated the outside layer. So they're all separated now. We're gonna braid an eye into this core first. So once we get an eye braided into this core, then we'll braid the outer side layers around the core. And you want to, on this bigger wire rope, three quarter wire rope, it's really hard to work with. So generally what I do is I braid a big enough eye into it that I could get my my big layer shoe there because this is not real pliable so you want to build if you put a little eye like that in it you're gonna have a tough time getting these layers through there so I build a little bit larger eye and you have to put the strands these three right here will go over the top. And you'll just lay them in there. Lay them in there the way it came apart. Just like that. And then just follow it all the way. See how it's laying in nice? And you'll just bring it on around. Come over to this one. And then you're just putting it back together the way it came apart. Bring them all the way down to the bottom. And then now your tail right here. You got one, one will come out on the bottom, one will come out on the top. So this bottom one goes underneath, this top one goes over the top. And then you'll just work them back into each other after they go apart, go after the bottom one lays right there, the top one lays right here, and you'll just work them back into each other. Just like that. Work it all the way out. Just twist it right back together. And now that's the core, the core is done. You can see the core's fully braided all the way around. And now you're gonna use this core like it's your seventh strand. Might take you a few times of doing it to, to get good at it. And now you just put the core back into the outer layer on both sides.
And now usually when I get it to there, I start bringing this one on around or this one on around. I don't keep braiding both of them into each other. I start with one side. It actually gets really difficult to get this to lay together if you start bringing them both at the same time. You see where it gets in a bind right there? Might have to unwrap this one one time. See how it starts laying together right there? And we'll leave that one right there for now. And then we're gonna run this one on around. You just braid it on around like that. And then just follow the tail with this strand right here. And with wire rope core, cable core, it's it's kind of hard sometimes to get, the, get it to lay down right here on this side. Especially with this big cable. You might have to do it single strand. Just lay it in there. Kind of rolls in there the way it wants to go, the way it's supposed to. It's, it's got, you know, it's got wire rope memory. Finish it up to the end. And then you could take that tail and you could either throw cable clamp on there or something. What I do is I just take electrical tape, tape it off right there, cut that tail off. I've actually taken a piece of pipe, inch and three quarter, and basically same size as this right here. I've taken that pipe and before I braided it, I've put it over it and just kind of crushed it a little bit and oblonged it and then put it over it and then you slide it over your wire rope cut that off slide it over right there and then um, put it in a press I got a couple I got a press that you could put it in and then just clamp that pipe down it holds the tail over there I mean all the all the integrities in the the eye you know this doesn't even matter the only reason you put it over here is just to get it out of the way so it's just not hanging there like that so but. so got a little short cable cable extension there so for like a running block or something but we have to interrupt this video with an important recovery so <clears throat> so you guys just stand by so we just got back from the recovery we had a recovery we had to go do an asphalt transfer machine you're gonna see it in, our, in one of our next videos just wrapping up the molly hogan went real well that cable laid right together you know it's a piece of cake you stay classy molly hogan cable eye you didn't go to the tobo chico factory and get it <laughs> of course they don't have it here they did earlier but then some guy brought up like five to the counter and bought them all out really today yeah. did mean, you go is there some in the back yeah i was gonna say did you, you check in the back i did, I did. I did. I did. I did. 
Because yes, when I see there's lime, I go to the back and I get the whole case. 